Okay, I'm going to do a quick demonstration on how I remove the valves from a single piece head like this on a Sato engine. Uh, what you'll see here is I've got a C-cell battery from my knife starter and a clean piece of paper towel that I just kind of wadded up. And what I'll do is I'll just wad that thing up in there and throw this cell up in there. Maybe not even use quite that much. That cell fits a lot more flush with the tabletop. I'm just doing this so I'm not having that contact right on there. So what you want to do, the purpose of that is while you're applying pressure down, you don't want, and you're compressing the spring, you don't want the valve to go down. So the other thing I use here is a small ignition wrench, which is a quarter inch, which is just big enough to go around there and depress that spring, the outer spring, and get the locking mechanism off. Um, and sometimes I'll use a little magnet here too. Now Sato uses a C-clip, so you kind of have to see which direction the C-clip is is facing and I just kind of depress it and then once I kind of disengage it from that I can just pull it off and it just so happened to adhere to this wrench you can see it there and now my keeper and spring come off and they're right there now that valve can be dropped out now let's 